Okay, Springfield, Ohio resident here for 30 years. Okay, been here my entire life. And since we are trending right now all over social media and people are wanting answers from the residents, um, I figured I would chime in. Might be an unpopular opinion that people want to hear. Yes, we have a Haitian Creole immigration issue. In the last couple years, they have dropped off 20 to 30,000 immigrants. The last year to six months has been insane. They are dropping them off by the busload. When I say busload, I mean the Greyhound busload full. They are taking them to the gas stations and dropping them off by the busload. But the big thing that I wanted to address, have I personally seen any videos or public reports of the Haitian Creole community stealing cats and dogs and eating them? No. The video that is going viral of the woman who killed and ate the cat is not from Springfield. Do I know for a fact and have I seen with my own eyes, okay, a Haitian Creole immigrant killing ducks? Yes. They are killing ducks at our reservoir and at our parks. They are chopping their heads off and they are cooking them up. They are also gutting animals up at the reservoir and roasting them, goats, pigs, that kind of thing, which, you know, obviously isn't illegal, but the way that they're doing it and leaving things is just ridiculous. They have completely trashed our reservoir. I mean, overloaded with trash. It's really sad. There's 20 to 30 tents out there um, that they are sleeping in and, again, just completely trashed. Um, The driving is a huge issue. There's probably four to five plus accidents a day of the Haitian Creole immigrants um, solely. They are running in to any and everything. I mean that. Trash cans, poles, libraries, garages, houses, flipping cars in the middle of the street, going down the street the wrong way, going down one way is the wrong way. Um, it's, it's really bad. Um, not to mention, yes, they are here and they are getting a lot of money for being here. They are given money for their dependents. They are given money for food, housing, um, everything that you would think of. Springfield is a small town of 50 to 60,000 and now almost half of that is a Haitian Creole population. We are considered a sanctuary city. So, yes, there is a problem politically I'm not getting into it but yes these things are happening I know that on the democratic side it's all these things aren't happening yes these things are happening and yes there are issues but no I have not physically seen or seen any proof of them killing cats and dogs and eating them But they are definitely doing it to the birds and the ducks. Hope that answers questions. Oh, I was going to end the video, but my biggest pet peeve is, like, I'm a big thrifter. And when I'm at the thrift store or any store in general, like, they will literally be on top of you. Like, literally on top of you, touching you, touching your stuff. I don't know if I've already said this or not. But, yeah, I don't know. Not a racist thing at all. And I do feel for them because the things that they are doing were okay in their country and they were picked up and dropped off here but it it is an issue and the things that you're hearing Springfield residents speak about is 100% true and just because it's not documented with PD doesn't mean it's not happening like just be for real also um Anthony Harris for mayor